Hello friends, welcome back to another video. I am super excited to be sharing with you part three of my fall decor series for 2022 today. Today we are going to be concentrating on my dining room table. Now, if you have been around for very long, you will know that I absolutely love putting tablescapes together because they are at the center of our home and they just serve as a great reminder of what we are in the middle of of and getting ready to celebrate. So I love decorating that area. Now usually I put together a whole tablescape, but when it comes to this time of year, we are quite a bit busier here in our home with guests coming in and out, which is absolutely wonderful, but I want to make those evenings easy for myself. And so if I concentrate on just a centerpiece for the table that can be easily taken off and put back on I think it will just make the next month or so that much more enjoyable so that is exactly what we are going to do I have a plan to use a tray at the center so that I can just lift it off and put it back on each evening that we do entertain and just try and keep it simple now that's Dina simple so you know there's going to be quite a bit of layering, but I won't have to deal with each place setting, taking that off and then having to put it back on. It's just going to make it so much easier for those occasions and honestly for cleaning every day. I can just slide the tray over, clean underneath it and slide it right back. So super easy for these very busy moments in life. And that is my number one tip for you. Just make it easy there's enough going on in these months we don't need to make it any harder on ourselves so let's go ahead and turn the camera around and get started on today's video okay the very first thing i'm going to bring to the table is my large silver tray you have seen this before in quite a few videos i had this in the kitchen for last season and just thought it would make a beautiful centerpiece here on the table for the fall so that is what we are starting with And if you were here for my last video, I mentioned how I decorate my coffee table. I want what is on the coffee table to be facing anyone that is walking into the room. And that is exactly what I will be doing here on the dining room table. I try to face my centerpieces so that they are seen as soon as you walk into the room. So most often I do tilt it on a diagonal. Now, the next thing I am bringing in are those topiaries that I made back in the springtime. Now I will definitely insert some footage here, but I just wanna show you all I did was I went outside and took a twig off of our tree and I added just a greenery bunch to it. I hot glued it on and it has stayed so well. I formed the rest of the greenery into a sphere shape because it's very bendable and it, everything is wired so it stays in its shape. This time I did take a couple of the twig and curly cues and just curled them up around a pencil and I thought that added quite a bit around the stem. And what I also added was just some ribbon that I had purchased a few years back, I believe, at Dollar Tree. I think it's just precious. Of course, I do have my moss and now I added them to my urns. Okay, here is just a quick look back at me creating these topiaries just in case you did miss those videos. They were so easy 
and really have stayed together so well. Now, as you can see, I did share the number of the greenery piece with you, so you will be able to track it down easily at Hobby Lobby. And like I said, I just took a stem from our yard to create the height in the first one. When I first put them together, you can see I used simple terracotta pots, but come late summer, I did make a simple change and wrap the pots in book pages. And now I have moved on and placed them in my urns, creating yet another look with the same pieces. Now, if you will remember, I did make two. This one I did not add to a stem at all. It is just the greenery itself. And again, I just formed it to kind of look like a topiary, but I wanted them to be different heights. So that's why I didn't add anything to it. But yet again, I did add the ribbon. And what I did is I just tried to kind of layer it in there and kind of poke it into the moss itself to kind of give it a flowing look. And I, again, just love it. I think it came out so cute. Here in the urns, I think it just adds so much to it. Gives it a very different look, in my opinion. Okay, the next thing I'm going to bring in is something you have seen over and over again. It is my riser. I purchased these at Hobby Lobby a few years back. Now, I haven't seen them in the store the past two years. Usually, they're there during the springtime. Now, I did have a couple subscribers mention that they had seen them this spring, but I did not, and I looked all the time. I will be honest, I wanted more. If I can find more, I will buy them. I think they are a great piece. I use them all over the house. They're very stately, just a very pretty look. Once everything gets on the tray, I will just continue to adjust to make sure that it all works well together. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to put on is I want to add some granary to the whole entire piece, and that's by using one whole spray of granary that I purchased at Hobby Lobby. Now, I don't have the numbers, but this is the spray. It's there all the time. I really love the look. It isn't a bright green, and so I do enjoy using this during the fall time. You know that I am not a traditional fall color person, so if you wanted to do a look that looked like this, you could easily use traditional fall colors instead of these greens. So don't ever look at this and think, well, that's not fall. It's my fall. It may not be your fall, but you could absolutely change it up to look just like you would want it. Now, I usually keep it all together so you can see the stem is still on there. And what I normally do is just tuck it back behind somehow. Now, once I get it on there, I will figure out where it needs to go. But as you can see, one side is quite a bit longer than the other. And so just kind of work with it how you want it to work with your design. I'm gonna go ahead and I think put that back behind this urn just to add some greenery in the back as well. Obviously, I'm going to have this platform here for a reason and that is to place a pumpkin. So I want to work around the riser. The greenery is very pliable and it is wired pretty close to the end so you can adjust it to go where you want it. So my stem ended up right back here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and hide that underneath the greenery. Okay, 
can also kind of prop it behind the riser itself. So that's going to help disguise that as well. And then it gives me the opportunity to also use some of the greenery down on the table itself. Okay, the next thing I decided to bring in were just some simple fairy lights. Now I am going to be bringing these in instead of candlelight this time because I am wanting to keep this more simple than I usually do and I just want everything really on the tray. So I'm gonna incorporate these instead. see how that looks once the pumpkin is on there we may have to rearrange now the first pumpkin I'm bringing on is one of my larger ones it's not huge but it is going to make quite a statement now I already have some moss and leaves hot glued on from years before and that is what I'm going to be placing right here on the riser Okay, I don't know that I like the bareness here, so I'm going to try and incorporate just a little bit of greenery, and I'm not really sure if I like the lights or not. Now, if I had a longer strand, that might be one thing, but we'll see. We'll leave them on there for now and just see if they last. So here's just a simple piece of greenery. It's actually two pieces off of something I've had forever. So I'm going to try and incorporate that right underneath and around the front of the pumpkin. Maybe if I bring these fairy lights forward, that'll give me a better look. I'm not sure. I'm just not liking the fairy lights, so I'm gonna quickly take those off. And maybe, I can pull that forward, maybe that'll work better. Yeah, I think I like that better. Because then I can still see my rising. Okay, to fill in a little bit of this bareness here, I have yet another pumpkin. Now it's a little bit darker than my previous one, just to bring in a different color per se. I know they're both off white, but one is a little bit darker. I don't know if it's showing on camera. And I'm going to try and place it right in here. The next thing I am going to bring in are these fall pieces that I found at Joanne Fabrics a couple years ago. It was a bunch and what I have done is I have just cut it into pieces and I'm going to try and integrate it into the greenery just to give it a little bit more color. I know I don't do a lot of color. It's not really a color, but it's going to add a whole new texture and break up the greenery as well. So we'll just go ahead and add it in here and there and I think it'll make quite the statement. The nice thing about these is the majority of the stem is wired. So you can kind of tweak them to go where you want to go kind of move in pieces of greenery in between them so it looks like they're popping up naturally and that's what I really like to do when I am using any type of greenery. I think that's good on that side. We'll kind of stand back and see once we get it all placed. A 
Okay, we haven't really seen the back of this quite yet. So as you can see, it's not all draping as I would like. So I'm going to try and twist this a little bit so that the right side of the leaves are showing. And again, being it is wired, it should move over that way or any way that you want it to eventually. So I saved the larger pieces for back here because I knew this was pretty long. So I'm just going to start by putting one right back there. And then maybe underneath another here. For the most part, I'm really liking it so far, but I do think I want to add in one more piece. So I'm going to go ahead, push the tray back, and then add one more thing to the center of the table. Now, some of you may remember this from a previous video, and to be honest, I can't remember if it was spring or summer when I set these out, but I purchased these plates at a local shop you know, a lot of you said that they were part of a grocery store promotion, and I remember those back in the day. They are a signature collection, fine china, but from what it sounds like, you could buy individual pieces at a grocery store at one time. So a lot of you have these. They were either your mother's or a grandmother's or an aunt's, and I just think that is so neat. I wish these had belonged to someone I know, but I really do love having them. I think they are going to add so much because they have all of the colors that are on the table from the tiny gray or silver color to match the tray to the browns and off-whites of the pumpkin and then bringing in that greenery. I just couldn't resist, so I am gonna go ahead and place them right here. So that's kind of going to serve as our place setting, even though it's just going to be right here all together. Now I think what I am going to do is I'm going to add one more pumpkin into the picture and that is going to be on the plate. So here is a pumpkin I have had for quite some time. I'm just going to, oh my gravy. Okay, so what I was going to do is just pull the stem up so I could place my moss in, but now I'm just going to go and plug in my hot glue gun and hot glue it together. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, I'll fix. <laughs> See, things happen to us just like they happen to you. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to place this right here. Maybe this way. Looks a little bit better. I'm not sure. But that is not all I'm going to put on here. I'm going to add a little bit more because, you know, I'm Dina and I'm going to layer. So let me grab a couple more things. Okay. In the meantime, I decided I'm going to try my fairy lights one more time in this little vignette. So what I normally do now, I grabbed a wooden spoon. Um, normally, I grab a pencil or a marker and I just wrap my very light right around whatever I have just to give them a tighter and coiled look it just I don't know to me it's a more finished look than just a strand of lights could be wrong this is obviously just my opinion I like it and then they easily stretch out but we shall see if they work in this vignette or not I'm gonna kind of stretch it out a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to bring in is a cloche because you know how much I love cloches. Now, I mentioned these in my last video. These are from Target and they are about $7 a piece. Now, sometimes you can find them in the store and that is where I have found all of mine. 
but they are online. Now, I did hear through one of you subscribers that they were all sold out my last video. So I am so sorry if some of you were able to grab them and then others not, but keep trying because they're always there. Um, and then I did go ahead and bring in some of the greenery that I used over in the living room area. What I want to do is put it behind the pumpkin and I've taken the moss just to hide the stem because it is going to be able to be seen on all sides. So I'll lift that up. But what I thought about doing is also incorporating these fairy lights. So we'll see, I'm not exactly sure. I don't know that I'm going to like this battery box showing. So if I can hide it. What do you think? Lights or no lights? <laughs> I know we didn't see it without the lights, but I think we'll leave it like that for now. It just gives a little bit of ambiance here. Being Again, I don't have my candlesticks out and I didn't add the fairy lights to the main vignette, just into this small one. So we shall see. But one last thing, you guessed it, a small tassel. I'm just going to replace it on this side and sometimes I don't necessarily like them just hanging off the side like that. So what I'll do is I'll start twisting and figure out if I want it to twist this way or the other, and then just kind of gently lay it. So it will twist and kind of lay atop whatever you're wanting it on. I think that just gives it a more finished look. Okay, so we will stand back and take a look at the finished product. The last few days we have had the chance to encounter some cooler mornings around here. My walks through the yard have been much more pleasant for sure. This morning as I looked across the yard I began to think how we all truly enjoy the idea of autumn fast approaching. The leaves begin to change color and all of us just look at that in awe. Everything is just absolutely beautiful this time of year. Eventually those leaves get swept away in the wind and the thought crossed my mind. Isn't it odd that we find the most beautiful time for a leaf is as it's dying? Which swiftly brought my mind to our lives in Christ. And there isn't a more beautiful time in our lives when the old makes that change and we watch it fly away. And what's left is a new life in him. So today I encourage you to once again, let go of the old and let the bright, new, beautiful you settle in. Because there is nothing on this earth like a life with him. it is time to bring this video to a close but before i do i want to thank you for coming along with me i am really loving the end result here in the dining room and i hope that you like it as well now remember you can completely change it up in your own color story so that it suits you or keep it neutral as I do, but it's been the perfect addition to our fall decor here in our home. Now, next week, we will go ahead and continue here in the dining room, completing the buffet and maybe even conquering the little hutch behind me. So I hope that you will be back for that. So if you have not yet subscribed, 
please consider doing so. I have a piece that I picked up a couple weeks ago at Hobby Lobby on a really good clearance. It's big and I think the idea that I have for it is a little out of the box, but I want you to be the judge of that. So go ahead, hit that little red subscribe button and become a part of our Graceful Living family. But for now, I'm going to wish you all a wonderful rest of your week. Remember to stay safe, be blessed, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.